we've got a great testimony from Sarah with her son, Johnny. So, Sarah, tell us what the problem was with your son, Johnny. How old was he? Is he? Yeah. He's 25 now. From 2013, he was uh, diagnosed to have nephrotic syndrome. Now, what and is nephrotic syndrome? He loses protein in his urine. It's his kidneys are draining a lot of protein out, which should not be filtered in the urine. So, so he how started did that losing. affect him? Yeah, so he started losing protein and his blood protein levels went down and he had a lot of edema. And he needed uh, medication to bring the protein. Now the he, more was losing, he, was, he was losing protein. protein so the yes. medication would be to bring the protein up, would it? Yeah. So how did the nephrotic syndrome affect him? So he started a lot of his putting on weight and because of the fluid retention and he had to be on steroids. This year he had to he became diabetic because he was on steroids for a long time. And one day his sugar shot up to 500 and he needed to be hospitalized to get his sugar under control. Right, okay. And so, he had to have a lot yes. of food restrictions and it was not at all a pleasant and happy time for him. He used to be very discouraged that in spite of praying every day, he was not healed. He was right. Okay, so he, you came to a to a meeting, and yes. uh, why did you come to the meeting? My friend, who's in England, she sent me your videos, and the meeting that she had attended one. So you came. You you asked for prayer for your son. Is that right? Yeah. 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 The okay, Holy Spirit so located me. Mm -hmm. And I was under the power of the Holy Spirit, and you asked me if I had a need. Sarah, what's happening? I feel the power of God over me, shaking all over. And I'm seeing the Holy Spirit coming down like a flood all over you, all over you, sister. I'm seeing the Holy Spirit coming down like a flood, like a flood. There he is, there he is, there he is, coming yeah. down upon you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Did you come with a need? Yes, I would like you to pray for my son mm -hmm. who has been having nephrotic syndrome for seven years. Now, past few days, he's not been well and he's having diabetes. And he's very distressed. Do you believe that Jesus will do this, Sarah? Yes, absolutely. That's the power of God coming on that demon that's harassing your son. That's the power of God coming on that affliction. In Jesus' mighty name, be loosed from him. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loosed from him. It's coming out of his, his gut, coming out of his gut, coming out of his abdomen. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. That's the power of God on him. It's the power of God on him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Also, he had mental problems. That's the power God on his mind. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. You write in and tell us your testimony. So, Sarah, did you write in your testimony? Yes, I have. What happened to your son? <clears throat> After the prayer, his sugars came down miraculously, and he was off insulin in two days. Then he cut down his medication, and now his sugars are normal. And when we went to the nephrologist review, his protein urea has come down, his blood albumin had risen to normal, and he has drastically cut down his medication and tapering it. Hallelujah. 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 You know, you know, Jesus touched him and he wasn't yes. even in the room. He yes. wasn't even in the room. Now, did Johnny request prayer? He didn't request prayer. He didn't request prayer. He didn't request yeah. prayer. So God saw the faith of his mother and healed the son. Praise God. 
That sounds like the New Testament. Yes. Isn't that awesome? Yes. Sarah, just very quickly, in the Lord, what advice would you give someone who's got a sick child, you know, a sick son or daughter? What advice would you give? I would advise them to trust in God and his word, which is true. Then the problem that we face because God's word is truth and spirit and it will come to pass his promises. Never give up. Never give up. And you know, uh, the people watching, some of them have got stubborn children who don't want anything to do with God. Does God answer the prayer of a mother for a child like that? Absolutely. God will. Amen. Amen. You see, God mm -hmm. is above everything. Even when your child is stubborn, disobedient, you know, God is God and he has dominion over all things. And if you believe it, give him a shout, amen. 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 amen.